That is some riveting, though yet to be authenticated, video of a baby napping with four king cobras. Cobras with enough neurotoxins to kill 20 people. The king cobra, also known as Ophiophagus hanna, can be found in the rainforests and plains of India, southern China, and southeast Asia, with their coloring varying from region to region. They tend to hang out in trees, on land, and in water. When threatened, the king flares its hood by spreading the ribs in its neck and emits a growling hiss that hints at the single bite in its venomous arsenal, one that delivers between 200 and 400 milligrams, enough neurotoxin to take down the central nervous system of an elephant and kill it within two hours. But let's get to the real reason why the species has been crowned king. It can reach 18 feet or 5.5 meters in length, making it the longest of all venomous snakes. And this length, coupled with its ability to raise up a third of its body, means that the king can come eye to eye with its prey. And if that's not intimidating enough, it's able to glide forward while raised in this noble pose. The better to flick its tongue out at you and gather your molecules inside its mouth, where its sense organ can assess whether or not you'd make a nice dinner. But don't worry, its favorite meal is other snakes along with lizards, eggs, and small mammals. The king only attacks humans when it's cornered in self-defense or to protect its own eggs. They're the only snakes in the world that build nests for their eggs, which they guard fiercely. In India and Southeast Asia, cobras and king cobras are revered and are at the center of many sacred rites. And king cobras are the preferred snake when it comes to the snake charmers of South Asia. According to National Geographic, quote, it's often a sad con game in which an exhausted cobra is put on the defensive, yet conditioned with pain not to strike the flutist. The truth is that although king cobras can hear, they can't detect ambient noises like a flute. A king's movements are a response to the visual cues of the flute and the conditioning by the snake charmer. However, the snake charmer would like you to think that he's hypnotized the cobra and assumed its prowess for himself. That's how powerful of a symbol the king cobra is. Making it easy to see why some of us humans make sock puppets of our arms in an effort to throw the deadly cobra strike, if only to possess the confidence of this snake for a brief moment. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Kitten here's no King Kong, and these bearded lizards certainly aren't Godzilla, but their less than climactic encounter underscores some of the major differences between Team Warm Blood and Team Cold Blood. Hey, this is Robert Lamb with How Stuff Works, and I'm here at Zoo Atlanta's new Slimy Scaly Spectacular, their new home for reptiles and amphibians. I'm excited. Let's go see what's happening in there. That's an encounter between Mowgli and the giant snake Ka from Zoltan Korda's 1942 adaptation of Kipling's The Jungle Book. But what's the real life heavyweight snake champion of the world? Let's find out.